everyone, and welcome to Ola Joe the Crocheting Sailor. I am happy to come on and talk to you about a yarn sale that I went to on YouTube, and I will put Melanie's link in her description box down below. She and Angie's Treasures did a pop-up live, and they were selling some items. And on the box, it says, thanks, gorgeous, for shopping small. So if you can at any time support any small businesses, please do so. Let me get into what I got. I'm super excited. She has some wonderful books and also vintage books. One fun fact about me is that I love to collect vintage books. This first one here is called So You. It has three simplicity patterns in there. And I want to get back into sewing. I do have two sewing machines and I used to sew and make my own clothes. And I felt like this book right here was going to give me some motivation to get started and create some of my own designs or just use some of the patterns that I have. So I'm super excited. And look, it's ring bound as well. Moving right along, we also have principles of flat pattern design. And I love to design clothes, whether I'm sewing or crocheting. And I thought this would spark and pique my interest because I am actually creating some of my own patterns and I said oh this is going to be a very nice book it says written as a beginning level pattern making text so this book right here is supposed to provide an added dimension to apparel and design and to and a better understanding of the processes involved in producing ready to wear or custom apparel and y'all know I went to Crochet Fashion Week too. So I was really, really super excited about that. Look at this. Showing the different types of skirts. Mm, this is so nice. Very, very nice. It shows closures and facing and things of that nature. And you all can let me know if you sew. So this is how the book looks. Excited about that. So here we go with Annie's Attic. It's called Eternity Shawls. Get that right so you can see. And I saw some nice patterns. These are designed by Jennifer Mc. McLean and ooh, they are very very nice I'll show you one right here isn't that beautiful thinking about making that that is so gorgeous oh and here's another one with the shells isn't that pretty I love it. And I got So Secrets by Ruth. Love this book right here. This book was published in 1965. So it was published before I was born. And it's supposed to be a textbook for home or school use. Happy to get this one. Already looked through that one. This one is clothing repairs. And my grandmother taught me how to sew, but she taught me how to put in zippers to do any patchwork, sew on buttons. So anybody that hasn't really dabbled into that within the world of crochet and knitting, it is possible, okay? Just takes a little bit of time. 
but I love it. Next, we have Beginner's Sewing Workbook by NASCO. And it goes over straight lines, square corners, also stitching with thread on material, using a tracing wheel. So it goes over a lot of the basics and things of that nature. It also gives exercise sheets like the sheet here where you can actually use this page or either print this out, you know, copy it, print it out, and then you can start right there and then sew around and around until you finish. So I love that. And I said, ooh, this could get me started again. Not that I can't sew straight. And this book right here, this big, huge book is Fashion Sewing by the Bishop Method. Archbishop. Let's see when this book was published. 1962. And it has really nice things in here. And showing you in detail with pictures how to sew on zippers and do all the things. Very, very nice. I love that. Here's another one. The Bishop Method of Clothing Construction. And this is re the revised copy. I got this one. Here's the back of the book. And I just had to include this into my stash. This was copyrighted in 1966. And 1959. And it has some really nice things in here. Mostly black and white, but they do have just a little tad bit and pops of color in it. These books I definitely will be passing down to my grandchildren and this will help them. As they get older, I will be introducing them to the sewing machine. So I'm very excited about that. Crochet wear. 25 fresh designs. I love this. Look at that beautiful pattern right there. I love the hat that she's wearing as well. But this is very, very nice. It's a leisure arts publication. And let's see, this was copyrighted in 2010. And it has some very, very beautiful fashion forward designs. There we go. You can see some there. Very beautiful. This is the back. I had to have this book. There's another design there. Oh, so they have vests, hats, wraps. What else? Shrugs, skirts and tops. Look at this skirt. It's called King Tut. I would love to make that. And here's another one. Tweety Pie <laughs> is what it's called. So I love this book. Really, really nice. For you red lovers, here is a red square. This is so pretty. <clears throat> Look at that. So I got that. Also... Got these books here. 
I'll try not to make this video too long. This one is called Adventures in Crochet. And it has 100 easy to make patterns with photos, drawings, and detailed instructions. They have a little bit of everything in here. Tote bags, different types of stitches, even a nice cute little apron. I mean, the old school aprons. Let me see when this one came out. This was published in 1972. And you name it. I thought this was very, very nice. Crochet and Creative Design by Annette Feldman. And it says Annette, Annette Feldman, she was a creative New York artist and has throughout the years shared her gifts of design with many people in many areas. So she is a designer of needle crafts and her work has appeared in so many different publications. And here she is. All right, Annette. Thank you for all you did. So it covers the standard measurements for a child size eight. It has stitch work, different stitches in here that I would love to try. Charted designs. So if some of you all want to do like fillet crochet, this is perfect. I love that. We'll need to give that a shot. And they talk about A-line shaping, cardigans, shoulder shaping, and how to shape the sleeves as well. This is wonderful. They give a nice guide in the back of this book here. They give a nice measurement guide. So I like that book. Also, I got the new crochet book, 40 Wonderful Wearables. And I just love that skirt. I definitely would like to make that. But I already have so many whips as it is. I They are piling up by the minute. And this is the back of the book. Very, very nice designs in here. This is by Terry Taylor. This is a lacy rainbow scarf that's included. Some very nice books. I love this fancy mesh sweater. Y'all see that? Fancy mesh sweater. So what I loved about this book is it gave me a whole lot of design ideas. This is Double Stitch by Monica and Erica Simmons. I love the designs that are in this book. They're very modern. There you go. I'll show you that. Beautiful set. The little crop top and the skirt. A lot of designs in this book they're very sexy. They're very cute and fashion forward. Even though this is an older book, it's more modern than the previous books I showed that were back in like the 60s. There is one particular pattern in here that I'm working on right now. And let me see if I how I can show this to you. Here it is. It's a gothic shawl a gothic shawl now right now i am using four weight that's using a six weight and the, some of the six weights that i have all in my stash i did not like and i did not want to use and i didn't want to buy any more yarn so what i did was 
I use good old Red Heart Super Saver. I went it because I wanted a solid and I wanted to start using a lot of yarn in my stash. So what I did was I started making it in a four way using the same hook size, using my trusty Furls Odyssey hook in this beautiful blue in a J. All right, so I used that and I started working up the pattern. So this is how it's looking right now. Granted, I will, since I'm using a four weight, I will have to do more rows because that six weight yarn is, is was gonna work up bigger and quicker because it's, the yarn is thicker, but that's okay because I have a lot of other four weight yarn that I can use. Even, even if I don't wanna buy any of the same color, which I said I was trying not to buy any more yarn. I've been doing that lately, seeing patterns and then having to buy more yarn. So I wanted to use the yarn in my stash. So once this green runs out, if I don't have any more green, I'll go with another solid and see how it comes out. But eventually I will like to do it in that Gothic in that gothic color. But this is how it's looking right now. This is the design. I think it's very, very pretty. I started it with that, that cream color. You see, that's an, an off-white color. And I just didn't want to look at it. I wanted something else. So that's why you see it down here in a different color. But I was thinking about lining it lining this with the the fur yarn that i got at the bottom you see so part you probably won't even see the white because i'll be working in there and then i'll be maybe using that fur to make this bottom part you see or to trim it okay but i'd love to make it in in that black so that's what this book is all about. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous designs that's in this book. Next, I have a Vogue Guide to Crochet. I had to have this book. When I saw it, I said, ooh, I have to have this. All you need to know to be an expert. I love what's in this book. I even love the color cover on the back. They have this beautiful bed spread. And I love the border on the bottom with those, the nice fringe detail. Gives you basic stitches. All different types of stuff. You name it, it's in here. Also has lace work, which I have thread for. I have thread in my stash. And last but not least, this is the complete guide to sewing. All right. Reader's Digest. I used to read Reader's Digest, so I had to have this book. All right. It, yes, it's a thick, big one. These are all the notions on the back. This book, just on its cover and how it's bound, is just very inviting. So it goes over pleats, seam finishes, hand stitching. So if you want to do basting, learn blanket stitch, do all this kind of stuff. They they go over all that. They also go over some nice fitting techniques and how to shop for fabrics. Fabrics, And this is a section that I loved. How to shop for fabrics. So they have this section in here. Whew. So... That's the end of my haul from Melody's Crochet. Oh my goodness, Melody. Thank you so much for offering up what you have in your shop to the masses. 
So they do have a live that's coming up. I want to say it's tomorrow, the 21st. And what I'll do is I'll just put it on the screen because I have it in my calendar. So make sure if you would like to tune in, even if you can't buy, you can come and support. That's greatly appreciated as well. But I would like to thank you, Melanie, for sharing that because what you just shared with me is knowledge. Knowledge of the crafts. And I'm going to say crafts because it, it's sewing, it's crocheting, and, and knitting. So a myriad of different things. Emma Garumi, she also sells her makes. So a lot of dolls she has. She also sells mannequin heads and things of that nature. Y'all don't want to miss it. But thank you. I appreciate you. And you all... I'll see you on the YT streets. Thank you for watching. Yeah. 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 Please click that thumbs up. And if you haven't yeah. already, push the button that says subscribe. Subscribe to all of Joe's channel. The Crochet Sailor Channel Don't forget to share this video Subscribe to the channel